Welcome to TikTok Live, everyone. I'm sitting here, of course, with Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, no. Okay, uh, first off, who do you want to win the next HOH? Honestly, I would love Roe to win it. Either Roe, Braden Austin, Tina Tara. I'm okay with any of them. <laughs> <laughs> any of them? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's, uh, let's take it back because not long ago, you were still in the house. Tell me about your campaign. You had logic on your side. Mm -hmm. Did you fall on your sword for Austin? I think when Kiefer put up Austin, I kind of realized I was his target. Um, it was hard to campaign against her, but I just tried to campaign for myself and, you know, try to tell some lies to the guys and Kiefer. But honestly, if I won this HOH, they'd be going up. So it's probably smart for them to get me out of there. Okay, that was my next question. You told Ty and Jed that your target would be Kiefer. That was a lie? Well, I kind of tried to tell them that Kiefer is just an emotional player. And when he got to jury, if they were to cross him, he would not give them their vote. So I said, let me take that shot for you eventually. If you don't want me to win the next HOH, I won't. But um, eventually I'll go after Kiefer. And I knew Jed had it out for Tara. So I said Tina and Tara would be the people that I'd be coming for. Listen, we saw that campaign. That part definitely made sense. Mm -hmm. But we also saw lots of house guests say, why are they not, like, why are they in our ear? Like, how come we're, Rohan was going to work for you. Some of the other house guests were going to work for you. But I feel like you could have turned up the heat if you really wanted to. It caused some chaos. Do you regret that now? It's, it's tough. I know we tried to throw Vic, Vic under the bus earlier in the week for replacement nom, and it kind of blew up in our face. I think I probably could have thrown Austin under the bus, but I learned my lesson from that. It wasn't the game I really wanted to play. And being so close with Austin, it's just something I didn't want to do. Speaking of being so close with Austin, <laughs> um, you guys are really cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Together. Um, and also, I saw you get emotional too. Like, what is it about the house that brings people together like glue, even if you were going in saying, no romances? <laughs> yeah, it's super weird. I mean, in such a short amount of time, you can create such bonds with people. Obviously, Roe early on, and then Austin and Brayden. I mean, I just surrounded myself with what I thought were great people, and those are three great people in my eyes. Okay, so we're going to bring it over to Cairo, okay? <laughs> Which is what you are lovingly known as, aside yeah. from Showtime. Nice. Um, what it. was it like finding a brother in there? I think that was my strategy going in, to be honest. I just wanted uh, a guy that was like most of my friends back home, someone I could trust and, and have fun with and joke around with, so... I mean, Josh, of all people, brought us together. So thanks, Josh. Um, but yeah, he's an unreal dude, and I can't wait to talk to him after this. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, can we talk about the pairs? Because we yeah. started the season in teams, but really, organically, it turned into a game of pairs with a couple on the side. Mm -hmm. So let's go through them. Um, Jed and Ty, what are your thoughts? I mean, they love themselves for sure. <laughs> Jed and Ty are good guys to hang out with, but... I think there was always no trust there between me and Ro and Jed and Ty. I mean, we both lied to each other. I think it's pretty obvious. And they took the first shot, and they, they hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about Tina and Tara? My two moms in the house. <laughs> I love them. I think they're hilarious together, and I really hope they go far in this game. Okay. Uh, Brayden and Austin. Yeah, two of the people I was obviously closest with in the house and a four-person alliance with Roe and those two. Um, yeah, just unreal people, so fun to hang out with. Uh, okay, and then the, the also rants. So people that you have tangled with before, mm -hmm. Kiefer, mm -hmm. what's your vibe on him? Me and Kiefer got into a couple boats throughout the season. Um, you know what, it's, it's, it's a game, and I can kind of put the personal feelings away. I know we had our game differences, but... I'm sure we'll have a beer on the outside. Okay, and Victoria. Vic is someone that is hilarious. I mean, I love her personality. Spicy V, she's, she's always dancing and twerking up a storm. Um, I cannot wait to party with her. And she's just such a loyal girl. You guys will have a good, do you say loyal? Loyal, I think. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, no, but I did want to ask you, okay, you are somebody who loves Big Brother. Like, mm -hmm. You play Big Brother games even though you haven't been a house guest until this year. What was it like in there versus what you thought it would be like before you, you came in? 
You know what? One thing that really surprised me coming in is I didn't expect so many like blatant lies pulled from the clouds. I knew things would get twisted, but from day three, me and Roe were behind an eight ball. Everyone thought we we're coming after the girls, and we had no idea where that was coming from. So I think that was shocking <laughs> to me. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I might be. <laughs> so I think that was the most shocking thing for me. And so what advice would you give to yourself before move-in? I think it would just be more prepared to get lied to straight to your face, um, especially early on. I kind of expected to ease into it, and it seemed like we were hot out of the gates uh, right off the start. Okay, fair. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is the biggest takeaway you have from this experience going forward? Because you're part of a big family, this big yeah, BB yeah. Can family. We've been on for almost a decade. Yeah. What do you think you've taken from this experience? You know what, it's, it's an awesome experience. I'm so grateful to be a part of it. And to have like lifetime friends like Ro now, I know we'll meet up. That is an awesome part of this experience. I know how much it would have meant to me to win this game, but at the end of the day, only one win, and you take away so many relationships. Right, right. Kyle, this has been a moment in time, but I think it's something that you're gonna remember for a long time. You have so many fan fans, you have so many new friends yeah. you will be making. Yeah. Um, are you ready to be a celebrity um, back home? <laughs> Good old Red Deer, here I come. I guess, I guess we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped to be here. I'm pumped for whatever comes next and just take it in stride. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for playing this amazing game with us. You were so fun to watch. Can't wait to see you way on the other, other side. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Rissa. Join us next week at 10 p.m. for our TikTok Live with the next evicted house guest. Thanks so much, Kyle.